Love is God and God is love. A relationship without God is as good as using it because God is the foundation of love. Praise the Lord, people of God. This is Ameso Fortunate. I work with Scripture Union, Uganda, Northern Region. Today, we are going to talk about a very interesting topic. This is going to my sisters out there, my mothers out there, my siblings out there. Before we start, let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to bless your name for such a time as this. We want to thank you for bringing us back together again. We want to say that, King of Glory, as you use me as a vessel to speak to your children, to speak to your people, to speak to the female who are listening to me now, I would like to say that, King of Glory, open their spiritual ears and eyes to understand, to see whatever they have never seen. We pray all this believing in your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. The interesting topic we are going to talk about today is never alone. My sister out there, my mother out there, my young ones out there, the female who are out there, you are never alone. Have you ever sat and asked yourself, why did God allow two women to be the first people to meet Jesus, to see Jesus after he resurrected from death. These were women, not men. This is why I have to tell you, you have to be strong because you are never alone. You are with God. God is ready to work for you. God is ready to work with you. God is ready to work through you. That is why he allowed, he made it very clear for the first people to meet Jesus, the first two people to meet Jesus after his resurrection to be women. There were two Marys who met Jesus. That was Mary Magdalene and the other Mary. Here, let's read from the book of Matthew, chapter 28, verse 1 to 10. Matthew 28, Matthew 28, verse 1 to 10. The heading is, He is risen. Now, after the Sabbath, as the first day of the week began to dawn, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary came to see the tomb. And behold, there was a great earthquake. For an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat on it. His countenance was like lightning and his clothing as white as snow. And the God shook for fear of him and became like dead men. But the angels answered and said to the women, Do not be afraid, for I know that you seek Jesus who was crucified, he is not here, for he is risen. And he said, come, see the place where the Lord lay, and go quickly and tell his disciples that he is risen from the dead, and indeed he is going before you into Galilee. There you will see him. Behold, I have told you. So they departed quickly from the tomb with fear and great joy, and ran to bring his disciples' word. Verse 9. The women worshipped the risen Lord. And as they went to tell the disciples, Behold, Jesus met them, saying, Rejoice! And they came and held him by the feet and worshipped him. 10. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brethren to go to Galilee, and there they will swim me. Jesus first appeared to these two ladies. They were women. You may be there thinking you're not important. But here Christ is telling us we have the same value. We have great values like the fellow men we always think are superior to us. 
Jesus first appeared to the women and he, he was ready to use the women by sending them to go and tell others that he will be at Galilee and from there they'll see him. You are not alone as a woman. You are not alone as that lady. You are not alone as that mother, as that daughter. You are never alone. Jesus is with you. In the society where women were treated less important than men, Christ came in and appeared to these women first. That shows that you are not alone, but with Christ. Praise the living God. He cared for women and included them in his, his ministry. That is why he really had to send women to go and tell the people of Galilee to move. And there they will get him. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. He also considered women to have the, an equal worth, an equal importance, an equal value like the men who were there. Before Christ, women were seen as inferior. But here, Christ has come, Jesus has come to let us know that he is ready to work with women in his ministry. Another thing that I can tell you that you're not alone is because you have the Holy Spirit. Who is the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit is God. Jesus is also God. Meaning, as Jesus is with you, God is with you, the Holy Spirit is with you. What does it mean to be a child of God and be part of his family? There, let's read John chapter 1, verse 12. John chapter 1, verse 12. Let's read John chapter 1, verse 12. John chapter 1, verse 12 reads, But as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God, even to those who believe in his name. How do we become children of God? We have to receive Jesus to join this family. We have to receive God to join this family. When you receive Jesus, you have received God. When you receive Jesus, you have the Holy Spirit in you. And you will be called the Son of God. You will be called the child of God. God needs a relationship with us. God needs a relationship with you. God needs a relationship with you, mother, with you, daughter, with you, lady who is outside there. You are never alone. And you have to believe and know very well that God is ready to use you in this generation. God is ready to use you in this time. God is ready to lift you from a place you feel you are, from the place of inferior to the place of superior, from the place of grass to a place where there is grace and grace internal. The last verse we are going to read here is 2 Corinthians 7. Second, I'm sorry, 2 Corinthians chapter 5. Verse 17, it reads, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. When you receive Christ, every past thing is gone. And the new life you received, everything becomes new in your life. It is from now that you have to know that as you have joined the family of Christ, you have received him in your life. You are a new creation. No matter the torments you went through, no matter everything you went through that hurts you, here you have received Christ and you are a new creation. Be ready, avail yourself to be used by the Lord. And when you are a part of God's family, it means you live like Jesus. When you live like Jesus, you have to read your Bible. You have to talk to him regularly, always, frequently, persistently. You have to do all the things when you have joined God's family. And from here, God is ready to take you to heights above heights, levels above levels, and we shall live to glorify his name. Thank you very much. May God bless you for the audience you've given the word of God. Thank you. Love you all. Bye. Love is God and God is love. A relationship without God is as good as using it because God is the foundation of love.